Before beginning medical school, I had the privilege of working at IHI on the 100,000 Lives campaign, which aimed to help hospitals improve their care using evidence-based measures. As a part of the campaign team, I had the amazing opportunity to visit with many different types of healthcare workers in many different types of settings all across the United States. One of the most important things I learned from those experiences is that ultimately, the ability to change comes from the will of people who can see and understand the failings in the systems around them and who possess the necessary skills to fix those failings and to improve those systems. As I traveled around, the stories of frustration I heard were most often about the physician or administrator or nurse who was being a roadblock, and the stories of success invariably involved a nurse champion or a passionate physician or a persistent QI manager. Success and failure didn't hinge on technology or money or rules and regulations. It was always about the people and the culture. Unfortunately, that culture of improvement that is so vital to success is far from universal in healthcare. As new members to our professions, we have an opportunity to model that behavior and culture of success. Now is a perfect time in our careers to be learning about all this because we are still shaping our identities. We have not yet declared what kinds of doctors and nurses and dentists will be. So, by making ourselves aware of the massive challenges healthcare faces and stuffing our toolboxes with the best improvement skills, we have the chance to declare ourselves to be the champion and not the roadblock, to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem. We can, as Gandhi said, be the change we wish to see in the world. I think that patient safety and quality improvement are important because they're an essential component of everything we do every day as healthcare professionals. It's important for our patients. Our patients need to be able to have trust in us and the healthcare system. Once that trust is broken, it's very difficult to regain it back. So it's important that we do things correctly and safely the first time. I believe that Patient safety and quality improvement is especially important for nurses because as nurses, part of our professional obligation to our patients is to be patient advocates. Our patients may not always know what the safest practice or the best quality practice is for them. So it's important that we're educated and can make those decisions so that our patients receive the best quality care and the safest care possible. I think it's important for all healthcare administration students to take time to participate in quality improvement projects and organizations, as well as focus on patient safety and quality improvement. If we are able to do this while we are completing our studies, then it will allow us to integrate quality improvement into our management style and expectations. Then when we are out working in healthcare settings, we will be able to be proactive about areas of quality improvement and be able to improve patient care and the work environment for all healthcare workers. This knowledge is practical and it will affect the way we work. I hope that you begin to feel the same way as you explore everything that the IHI Open School has to offer. Again, I thank you for your interest and commitment. I wish you good luck and I look forward to meeting you at our future events.